Broadcasting from the Nuki Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTO Editorial News for October 19, 2011. The big story. Yes, this is related to Kenya. Pay attention, Kenya. Al Sabah. Here they are. They kidnapped two women. A German woman, a woman who was out in sea, and of course they killed the, the husband. And then a French woman who had her beast house in the northern part of Kenya. Yeah, the Somalis or Somali pirates or the Al who is related to the Al Sabah kidnapped them. The Kenya army went out there and they went across the border. Don't believe what Moses Montangula, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said. They did. 200 kilometers out there killed 70 men of Al Sabah. And now Al Sabah yesterday sent a message to Kenya that they're going to take revenge. They're going to go ahead and try, well, try to blow up buildings or whatever in five cities, including Nairobi. It could be the Time Square, uh, Time Building. You never know what those uh, terrorist groups would do. But anyway, when Kenya, as a sovereign state, and you can ask Moses Rantangela, because he invited the Sudanese president, Al Bashir, last year for the constitution in Kenya. And then they could allow anybody to come in. So in Somalia, of course, they was able to come in a long time ago. So there was an open door policy by Kenya. And of course, what they did, they started buying land. They started having businesses especially in Nairobi, each lit. And of course, have Somali uh, embassy open back up last year. So guess what they can do? Just about anything. They even bring cars for Kenyan to buy and rent to people. It was surprising that uh, at that time Senator Obama was in a rental car that was stolen by the Somalis up in Europe. So the key thing is, Kenya, you opened the door. Now you want to shut it by going after these Al Shabaab and going across the border in order to uh, get the woman. Well, bad news is that French woman died. She couldn't get her high blood pressure medicine. She died. That's a sad thing. And the other thing is now they're going after the German woman. And of course, President, the French President Skadoshi. He said, it's, it's really sad, it's a tragic. Why they want to a, a kidnap a 66-year-old French woman who used to be a former journalist, and now you, 
You want to vow for re uh, revenge because Sebedee of your Al-Qaeda uh, slash al Shabaab men got killed and here you are hiding in trenches trying to defend yourself and now you want to vow revenge or trying to blow up Kenya and you also said that Nairobi is your golden egg so figure this out Kenya some of the MPs are Muslims and you allow them to come in and, and, and plus the MPs are uh, related to the uh, Somalis so you allow them to come in and number two now you want to shut the door trying to prove the world that you can fight and try to get the, uh, the two women back which one is dead now you got to go after the German woman so right now Kenya is sitting on a powder keg you don't know what will happen or what's gonna happen in the future you're gonna need some help Kenya I know you may be kicking back drinking tea eating this um, some type of they call it ugali uh, this powder cake or whatever you call it flower cake food and just enjoying life but guess what it's coming and don't think they just could to aim at just Nairobi the time building they, they can hit anywhere the terrorist group and so I LTL is saying this there's a new Kikuru saying because this is based off of greed in Kenya that you allow Somalis who have money who's related to al Shabaab, and you allow them landowners buy, uh, they wind up buying the, the land from you so you can have money your children's are weak they the one that's helping you out or hurting you but anyway here's the saying for US their greed invites Occupy Wall Street Kenya your greed invites our Shabazz this is LTL and the LTL editorial news for October 19, 2011. Sunny!